Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Maryland Darling Show. Today, we're going to be looking at these Tombow calligraphy brush pens. Now, a lot of people have called these different things, but these just say Tombow brush pens. <clears throat> so, I will be referring to these as tumble brush pens. One is soft and the other is hard. <clears throat> now, they're different colors and they have different writing on them. And of course, the only things that are in English are Tombow and Made in Japan. So, I have no idea what that says. Okay, this is the blue one. I have no idea what that means. One is 150 and the other is oh one is okay I'm gonna guess that the black one is soft and the H is hard. This is just taking a guess. Also the symbols are the same but different colors except on now over here which I don't know if that means anything to you but um all right then so we're gonna move into the Claire Fontaine 90 gram <clears throat> and um, we're gonna try these out because I have never tried them out before sorry about that I got interrupted by a phone call that I forgot to turn off the phone for. So we're going to try the hard one first. And I'm not a calligrapher. I'm not. I am in the process of learning calligraphy. Uh, sort of modern, modern, modern calligraphy. Sorry, I'm looking up how to write these letters. It's been a minute. Okay, so that is what it looks like. I have never used these before. The only type of markers that I have used, you've seen on here, have been the dry erase markers, which are basically garbage fire. So, Let's see how this goes. Oh, that's nice. draw bees different ways. They go up over like this or they go like this. Oh that's nice. We make an F.
I have a real problem with my O's. <laughs> I'll tell you not to do this little bit here, but you know what? When I am using my fountain pens, that is just, just, just how you write. Also, it's a lot quicker if you have a... I don't know. I'm going to try and do the drills with the new pens and see what they... Okay, so this was the... I think this was the, the soft nib. Now let's try and open up the hard nib. See if I have any more control with this one. Oh, that's hard. Hello, how are you? Good, good, good.
I find this one a lot more easier to work with than the, than the soft brush, which means that I am going to have a hell of a time when I get my brush pens because they're supposed to be a lot softer than this. This, I guess, is supposed to be the medium um, medium hardness nib, the Tombow Fudenosuke. <clears throat> but this is just, it says calligraphy pen. And I can't read any of that Japanese. So I apologize if I've butchered that word, but I think that that's how you're supposed to say it. I'm not sure. As I am not Japanese, I would not know. But, um, I kind of like these. I'm going to do the drills <clears throat> and uh, see what Becca says about my drillage. And when my other brush pens come in, I will give you a review of those. And I will give you a full review of these in a couple of days when I've had a chance to give them a try. That's all for today, so thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Okay, love you, bye.